The variety of timber bands on the dance music scene range from classic to innovative, but one thing they have in common is a sound that is strikingly fresh and irresistible. The popularity of timba has produced greater competition among the bands in Havana with each group trying to explore new boundaries and put their own stamp on the music. There is Bamboleo, which was formed in 1995 and since then has become one of the hottest timba groups. Led by pianist Lázaro Valdez Jr., it is the first timba band to front females as lead singers. Years ago, Los Bambam created a variety of innovations that led to today's timba sound. While they have never called themselves a timba band, as Cuba's top music group for many years, Los Bambam are in the thick of the timba craze. Michael Blanco is one of the new kids on the block. As director of one of the fastest rising bands in Havana, he is quickly becoming a major timba voice and his dancer-friendly rhythmic sound is Cuban dance music at its best. Pupi is one of the central figures of timba and a longtime veteran dating back to his years with Elio Rebe and later Los Bambam. In 2001, this prolific composer put together his own group and since then, the hit songs just keep on coming. Manolito Simonet founded his group in 1993. He leads one of the tightest and most powerful bands in Havana, known for their blend of traditional song and classic timba groups. As one of the best young pianists in Havana, Tirso Duarte heads the current pack of new timba bands in Havana and his latest work clearly demonstrates why his popularity is on the rise. Timba's intoxicating rhythm has already caught the attention and emotions of dancers around the world. In Cuba, where dance is at the heart of the people and the culture, timba is modern dance music at its best. It is flexible, it is driven, and it's very sexy. It is often said that timba is the next natural evolution of salsa music. <laughs> 